guys welcome back to the channel and today we got a new fragrance this is genuine man reserve by giovanni or genuine man giovanni reserve so this fragrance is a clone of givenchy's or givenchy's gentleman uh reserve Privé. and the reason i don't have that one is because it was too expensive i wasn't going to spend too much money on it i tried it i liked it but it wasn't something that i was ready to pay 110 dollars for especially since I'm not gonna be using it that quite often. It's summer. This is a fragrance that works better in the winter, fall time frame. So here it is. So first off, let's go over what it reminds me of. This is not gonna be a first impressions because I've already been trying this fragrance and I, I quite enjoy it. Right? Actually for it being a clone, I think for 30 bucks or $32, I would put the actual price right here. Um, I think it's really great. I think it's a really good buy. Um, the reason I came up with this fragrance or that I even got it, it was because I was watching uh, Jensen's. And that is one of those uh, reviewers that I like watching because I like the way they, that he gives reviews. It's really entertaining. And sometimes he says that things smell good and I'm like, huh, and I buy them and I don't like them. So that's why I make these videos. But this one, he nailed it. So again, I don't have uh, Givenchy's the Reserve Privé, but I did try it. So as I was, you know, trying it out, I reminded me of two fragrances that I have. And that kind of added to the reason that I didn't buy it. The first one was uh, Camera Latafa. So not the Kwa or Kawa, but this one. So if you've ever tried this one, this one reminds me of Coquito, of uh, uh, Tembleque, it reminds me of like Puerto Rican, you know, sweet um, vanilla mixed with rum, whiskey. It's really good. It's a unisex fragrance. It leans more masculine depending. It also depends on who wears it. But to me, it leans a little bit more masculine because it has that whiskey tone to it or that whiskey note. <clears throat> but this one's really good for, for uh, summer if you spray a little bit, but it's really good for uh, winter and fall. That's what I meant to say. So it's really good for winter and fall. You could use it in the summer, but you have to spray a little bit. Um, but then it also reminded me of this one. And I haven't been using this one because again, this is a fragrance that is more for winter. So this is uh, Annie or Nishane Annie uh, clone. This is Spectre Ghost or Ghost Spectre. Um, so oh yeah, this thing smells so good. I'm like, I'm really, I'm really anxious for it to be winter or fall so I could use these two. So what I'm gonna do is just to prove a point, I'm gonna spray a little bit of the uh, camera right here and then a little bit of the uh, Spectre Ghost and see if it kind of smells similar to this one, the uh, Giovanni, so one spray. Really, if you haven't really tried Kamara, highly recommend it. Buy and buy, you won't go wrong. Same with this one. All right, so there's those two. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's kind of weird, but you know, you, I don't know if you ever layered fragrances, but man, you can you could already smell it in the air. It smells so good. Um, all right. All right, so it's like 85% similar. So yeah, so I'm not, I wasn't wrong. Um, there is this mix of like whiskey and vanilla, woods, um, what else is in there? Um, this one is a little bit more darker, more like if you ever like drank whiskey and you know how it goes down your throat and you're like, <laughs> that scent. And then these two mixed together smell really good. Um, you get that whiskey from the camera, like popping on oh, over the vanilla. It's really good. So these three right here will be a banger collection to have for winter. Um, I think Jensen's hit it on the top of the nail with this one. It smells really good. Highly recommend it. Um, I think it's sold out. Last I saw that there wasn't really any, anywhere you could get this at, but um, I will leave a link down below of where you could buy it. 
and that way um, you could get it if you want. I want to put a link about uh, Kamra. I haven't really tried the uh, Kawa one, but I know it smells really good because if there's coffee in there, it should smell really great. Um, so um, what else? So where did I get this? I got this from Fragrance Buy um, right here. And they send it in this really nice box. So this box is um, where they ship it in and then they give you this box right here. This is the actual box where the fragrance comes in. And the one thing I like about Fragrance Buy is when you get it like buy from them like again this is not a sponsored video I'm not being paid by anybody this is my description what I think my thoughts is that they put a lot of bubble wrapping and a lot of thought into your fragrance when they're shipping it to you and I think that that is really good if you're gonna gift it to somebody because they're gonna see this package you know you just send it over to the mail say hey I sent you something in the mail I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it and next thing you know they open the box and they find this um, that notion of it being a cheap fragrance might go out the window, especially once they smell it, they're gonna go, wow, it's pretty good. Um, price, again, is I think it's really re reasonable for what you're getting compared to what the actual fragrance it's cloning goes for. Um, so I would say that the, the longevity, like how long it lasts, I haven't really gotten that much out of it i think it's going to be around six hours from what i've tested um but that, is all, that also depends on how many sprays you you do so i would recommend lots of sprays if you're going to use this that way you get the most out of it i don't think it's going to choke anybody out if you spray a little bit too much um unlike this one right here where like if you spray some of it you know you might get um you might have people kind of like choke on the smell because this one is super strong. Um, this one is not that bad if you spray it, but or too much, but it's all like however you want to go about your day. If you want to smell a lot and you know get that attention, or if you just want to you know be nice and mellow with it. Right now, um, out of these two combos that I did, I think I like more um, layering these two. Again, that is what I like, but again, uh, this one is, is great. You know, Juventi clone right here, Reserve Privé clone. Uh, the bottle looks really good. Uh, it's really nice and heavy. You know, the cap stays in place. Everything that, you know, Jen Sims was talking about is, is true. So I really can't say that he was uh, bamboozling people or bamboozling people with, with his review. I think he hit it straight on. Um, so guys, thank you for watching again. All these videos are my thoughts, my description, what I think about the fragrance. I've never been paid to say anything. I also buy these fragrances with my own money. So there was a period of like maybe eight days that I haven't made a video. And that was because I was testing um, Million Gold. I think Million Gold is really, really good fragrance that you might want to go and get, and get. It's to me, it's like a mix of LeBeau uh, Paradise Garden and Lebeau, um, the original Lebeau, all mixed together and Privé kind of adds a little bit of vanilla in there. Every time I wear it, my wife asks me if I'm wearing something that has coconut in it. Uh, there is no coconut notes on that on that, uh, on that that fragrance on Fragantica. So I don't know where this, this coconut note is coming from. Maybe it's from the woody notes, um, but it's really good fragrance. And I haven't really seen that many videos of this fragrance online, so there's not that much hype. I think this is like a sleeper fragrance that you could pick up, especially since uh, Paradise Garden is really hard to get. Um, super expensive too, if you ask me. I think it's way too overhyped for the price. I think it smells good. It has that fresh new car scent to it, but I think that for the price, you might want to consider um, Million Gold by Raban. So. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you like this video. Don't leave a thumbs down. Just mention why you didn't like this video in the comment section. That way I could better my videos in the future. Again, don't forget to subscribe. That way you can see my videos in the future and get notified when I upload. Thank you guys for watching. This has been One Cut. See you guys in the next video. Have a great day.